वेदांत स्वामी निधि नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवानी प्रचारिने निर्विशेष्या शून्यवादी पश्चात्याधिशाधारिने सरस्वती देवे गौरवानी प्रचारिने निर्विशेष्या शून्यवादी पश्चात्याधिशाधा Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Hathvaita Gadadha Shri Vasadhi Kovacha Vinda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Hadvaita Gadadha Shri Vasadhi Kaur Bhakavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नेताय गौर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो नित्य गौर हरि बो गौर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो हरि जय जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय श्रील प्रभु पाद
Gaur Premanande Haribo Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militan Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchakaupatarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnavibyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasade Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're hearing the glories of Srimad Bhagavatam we were describing yesterday about the glorious uh, qualities of Lord Sri Krishna, as they are mentioned in the third, in the first canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, in the third chapter. So that, तो काल के आमी सब देख लेन कि भगवान कृष्ण के गुण कथा सुनचेन प्रथम स्कंदर भागवतम तीन नंबर अध्याय दिखे। We heard that Lord Krishna is not simply an avatar, but he is the source of all avatars. तो काल के आमी देख लेन कि कि भावे कृष्ण जो आचे उन्हीं अवतार ना है, उन्हीं सब अवतारेर, उन्हीं अवतारी आचे सब। And Lord Vishnu. It's the expansion coming from Lord Krishna. But it is Lord Krishna who is Swayam Bhagavan. He is the original personality of Godhead. In Brahma Samhita, Lord Brahma describes Departure eva hi dasantaram abhupaicha dipayate vivrita he tu samana dharma. Yes, Tadragaeva Hicha Vishnu Taya Vibhati Govinda Madhipursham Tamaham Bajamin. Lord Brahma is describing that the light and heat in one candle can be the same in many other candles, but there's one original candle which lights the other candles. So, Brahma Samhita Dikhe Ekta Sloka Ache, Oye Dikhe Likha Ache, Kivave Anek Anek Deep Ache. अनेक दीप आचे सब दीपे रोशनी एक समान आचे पर उन तो एक ता आचे ओरिजिनल दीप आदि दीप। तो लॉर्ड कृष्णा ही इसे ओरिजिनल कैंडल और वी सी क्वालिटीज सिमिलर इन लॉर्ड विष्णु बट इट इस लॉर्ड कृष्णा हु इस ओरिजिनल पर्सनालिटी एंड लॉर्ड विष्णु इस एक्सपेंशन व्हिच कम्स from Lord Krishna. जब भावे अनेक दीप आचे तो एक ता ओरिजिनल दीप आचे और दीप दिखे आमी अनेक दीप के चालू करुँछन तो सही भावे कृष्णा और विष्णु सेम क्वालिटी आचे परन्तु कृष्णा दिखे विष्णु आचे। So later on in Srimad Bhagavatam, Sukadeva Goswami will go on to describe the pastimes of Lord Sri Krishna. तो हमें देख बे कि भावे भागवतम आगे सुखदेव गोस्वामी बोर्नन कर बे कृष्णेर लीला। Srimad Bhagavatam is compared to the personality of Godhead. The first two cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam are called the Pada Padma. They're like the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. So Srimad Bhagavatam is the God of Sri Krishna. So the first two cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam is the God of Sri Krishna. When we come to see the form of the deity, we should see from the lotus feet. आमी जो कौन बग्रह दर्शन करवे तो आमी के भगवाने चौरान कोमल दिखे देखते चालू करते होंगे। 
that is customary when we meet a, supreme, a great personality that we will bow before them and we will look down to them and then gradually look up to see their full form. So, if we meet a person like Mahajan or Mahapurus, then we see the eyes of the eyes of the eyes and the eyes of the eyes. So, Srimad Bhagavatam is written in that manner that the first two cantos represent the lotus feet and then as we go through the further cantos, we progress up the different limbs of the body of the Lord until we come to the tenth canto which represents the lotus face of the Lord. So, Bhagavan is the Bhagavatam, the Bhagavan is the Abhinno, 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 one fault which often takes place is that people want to go prematurely to the tenth canto to hear of the intimate pastimes of Lord Krishna without first of all studying the earlier cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> उतने छड़े ही डायरेक्ट दसवें स्कॉन पढ़ा चुके हैं ये गलती आपने कि आगे सब स्कॉन पढ़ते हो बे तार पुरे दस दसवें स्कॉन पढ़ा हुआ चीत। The problem is if you go like that up to the tenth canto without first of all understanding properly the supreme Lord, then we will consider the pastimes of the Lord to be like that of an ordinary person. तो ये देखे की भूल आ चुके हैं आपने अगर डायरेक्ट आप में अब तो दसवें स्कॉन भगवान ने लीला पढ़ बे तो आपने बुझते पर बे ना भगवान ने की पोजीशन आ चें और आपने की बोल बे भगवान ने जो कुन लीला सुन बे स्वर्ण कर बे तो आपने भगवान के एक तो साधारण मानुष माने बुझ बे। As Lord Krishna himself describes in the Bhagavad Gita, आपजनांति ममुधा मनुषिम तनम अश्रितम परम बावम अजानंतो Mama Buddha Maheshwaram, that the foolish mock at me, descending amongst them like a human being. They do not know my transcendental nature and supreme dominion over all that be. So, जो मूर्ख व्यक्ति आचे गीता दिखे भगवान बोलचे न अवजानंति माम बुड़ा तो जो मूर्ख व्यक्ति आचे उन्हीं जानते परचे न भगवान ने की पोजीशन उन्हीं मने आचे भगवान एक ता साधारण मानुष उन्हें बुझते बार चलना कि भगवान दिखे संपूर्ण सिस्टी ऐसे चे। So then the people, the foolish people, prematurely they go to tenth canto and they will read about Lord Krishna's very intimate and confidential pastimes, such as Rasa Lila, and they will think that they can also imitate these pastimes. तो आने एक जो उनकी कर्षण भूल कर्षण की डायरेक्ट कुनी कृष्णे दोसम इसको जो लीला आचे खूब सुंदर सुंदर खूब दिव्यो खूब गोहियतम जो लीला आचे गोपी सोंगे जो उन्हीं रास लीला कर्षण से लीला के स्रवण कर बे और उन्हीं भूल कर बे मने रख बे कि नहीं कृष्णे इटा लीला कर्षण आमिये करते पार बो। So in this way they are committing a great offence against the supreme lord। तो ये भावे उन्हीं भगवान पूर्व परम पुरुषोत्तम भगवान श्री the Lord, not we should not jump to the Leela, but we want to understand some like, for example, the pastime of creation, the past, not just pastimes with the gopis, but before we hear about pastimes of the gopis, first of all, understand how the Lord is performing the work of creation. <laughs> Yes, Shristi Lila, like creation. So, the first two cantos are also describing about the Lord in his pastime of creation. And it's important for us to understand how the Lord has these inconceivable potencies and can create the whole cosmic manifestation. The Patam Duskand Dike, Shristi Lila Diyate, Abhavan Ki Bhava Dibya Bhava Pura Shristi Rachana Korchen. We have to also hear about the Lord's various incarnations, 
how the Lord appears at different times in different forms. Kamike Bhagwan ki bhave anek anek avatar grahan karche and anek anek somay anek anek roop dike prakat hoye che and achint sakti prakat karche and it amar ke bushte hobe. He can appear in different species of life. For example, we have Matsya avatar where the Lord comes in the form of a fish for the purpose of saving the Vedas. So, I see that God has different forms of life. He has different forms of life. He has different forms of life. Then there is a Kurma avatar, the Lord in the form of the turtle, how he is supporting the Mandalachara mountain so that the demigods and demons can churn the ocean to produce the nectar of immortality. Then there is a Kurma avatar, the Lord in the then we have Varaha avatar. The Lord appears also in the form of a boar when he picks up the earth from the bottom of the Garbhodak ocean. Tarpare oni Varaha rupe avatar gran karchen se avatar rupe oni ki karchen ki pithvi ke Garbhodak sagar dikhe oni upar karchen. And then he puts the earth back in position, and at the same time, in the course of putting the earth into position, he deals with the demon Haranyaksha. So, when he was in the earth, he was in the earth, and he was in the earth, and he was in the earth, and he was in the earth. And then, after Lord Varaha, then you have the Lord coming in the most amazing form as Lord Narsimha. Where he appears with a half man, half lion form. Tarbure oni ek adhut roop dikhe prakat hai gachi. It a nursing roop hai. So you can see how the Lord has inconceivable potencies. To nursing roop hai oni adha ache manus, adha ache shingo, nursingo. That he. Tami dekhte paachan ki baabe achinte sakti oni prakat korche. We do not see any species of life. Which is half man, half lion. कोनो समय कोनो आपनी species योनी देखते हैं जेही आधा सिंग आचे और आधा मानुष आचे नौर आचे. But the supreme Lord, by His own desire, can He can assume these forms. परंतु भगवान निजे इच्छा दिखे इटा अद्भुत अद्भुत रूप धारण करते पास. And when He appears, He does so in the most wonderful ways. अब भगवान जो कौन ये जगत दिखे अब तेरी तो ऐसे तो कौन अद्भुत अद्भुत प्रकार उन्हीं पकड़ For example, Lord Varaha appears from the nostril of Lord Brahma। देखो उनकी भावे भगवान अद्भुत रूपे प्रकट हैं जन जकौन वराह रूपे उन्हीं प्रकट हैं जन कोठाएँ दिखे प्रकट हैं जन ब्रह्मा जी नासिका दिखे उन्हीं And Lord Narsimha Dev appears from a pillar। अब भगवान नरसिंह देव कोठाएँ दिखे प्र we want to understand how the Lord possesses inconceivable potencies. He is not at all on the level of an ordinary human being. But he appears to be like the human being. Actually, we are all made in the image of God. He is the original Purusha. We are simply aspiring to be the Purusha. पुरुष, original पुरुष, आमी सब केवल निजे चिंताई कोर्चन कि आमी पुरुष होवे। We come into this material world desiring ourselves to be the controller। ये जगत दिखे आमी सब खास में चेष्टा कोर्चन, ये जगत दिखे आशे चेन आमी कारण कि आमी पुरुष होवे। So we are the imitation gods। तो आमी आचे केवल भगवान होवर केवल आमी नाटक कोर्चन। फरक की कर सें उन्हें घोषणा कर सें आमी बासुदेव कृष्ण उन्हें दुटा हाथ तो चिल्लो दुटा हाथ की कर सें बाहरी रूपे फिट कर रही है जी and he even wrote a letter to Lord Krishna in Dwarka and he told him 
that I am Vasudev, you should give that Sudarshan Chakra to me. Aoni Bhagavan Sri Krishna ke ekta potra likhe chen, ki aami aache ek Vasudev Krishna, tumi aamar Sudarshan Chakra niye chen, tumi aamar ke phire diwe Sudarshan Chakra. And so when the letter was brought to Dwarka and read out, everyone laughed. They all thought it was so funny. So when Pondraker Chitti Jachilo Potra, when he was in Dwarka, 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 when So when Krishna gave him the Surasan Chakra, Pondraka couldn't quite catch hold of it and it ended up cutting off his head. So Bhagavan said, okay, you are not going to chakra, you are not going to be able to chakra. If you are not going to be able to chakra, you will not be able to chakra. And in this way, Pondraka was liberated and he went to the spiritual world. So Bhagavan said, okay, our Pondraka is not going to be able to chakra. But just think how merciful Lord Krishna is, that Pondraka he wants to be Vasudev Krishna, so Krishna sent him to the spiritual world to get a forearm form, a spiritual body with four arms, and he could be in the spiritual world. Krishna <laughs> So the demons who are killed by Krishna, they all get liberated to the spiritual world. Now, there are different, five different kinds of liberation. Then usually the demons who are killed by Krishna, they will get Sayuja Mukti, where they enter into the Brahma Jyoti. साधारण भावे जखोन कृष्ण कोन आसुर के मार बे तो उन्हीं सायुजी मुक्ति प्राप्त कर बे सायुजी मुक्ति माने कि उन्हीं कृष्णों दिखे लीन होए जावे but some very special demons they are given a spiritual body they are given liberation like Swarupya and they get a body like one of the residents of Vaikuntha पर कोनो कोनो विशेष आसुर अच्छे उन्हीं जखोन कृष्ण वाद कर बे तो उन्हीं सारुप्या मुक्ति या and there's even demons like Putana. When Krishna killed Putana, Putana was also sent back to Goloka and she became one of Krishna's nurses in Goloka. So, and Kono Kono Bises Dana Vaisa Jai Bhai Putana. Putana Kedo Bhagavan Golok Bindavan Dikhe Dhatrir Ekta position diya chai. Because she came to Vrindavan as Putana, she came disguised like a gopi. She was dressed up looking like a gopi. And she even took on a beautiful form just like a gopi. And she came in there and she wants to nurse Krishna. And she picked up baby Krishna and fed her breast to Krishna. So Putana, to Bhagavan Golok Vrindavan Dikhe Dhatrir, Ekta position pechen to कारण कि उन्हीं गोपी रूप धारण कर चें, उन्हीं गोपीर भाव दिखे, उन्हीं कृष्ण के सेवा करार इच्छा चिलो सही भावे कृष्ण उनार के गोपीर पोजीशन दिए दिए चें। So Lord Krishna thought she wants to be my mother. Let me take her to Goloka. She can be my mother there. कृष्ण केवल देख चें उनार एक भाव कि उन्हीं इच्छा चें कि उन्हीं गोपी रूप धारण कर चें उन्हें मार so this is the mercy of Lord Krishna. So this Srimad Bhagavatam is spoken. Initially we said Sutta Goswami is speaking to the sages of Naimasharanya. But then as we in the first canto we read about the Krishna himself departs from the world. So, <laughs> at the end of the battle of Kurukshetra, we see how Ashwatthama is very angry and he wants to kill all the descendants of the Pandavas. So, Mahabharata Yudhpare dekhshin ki bhabe Ashwatthama khub rege chilo, nuni khub kurodhi chilo, aur nuni mani chilo, aami sabai ke mere dibe. Ashwatthama was the son of Dronacharya. Ashwatthama chilo Dronacharya chile. 
and he'd seen how his father had been killed, his father had been tricked by some cunning <laughs> trick of Lord Krishna. উনি দেখেছেন যে আমার বাবা কিভাবে দোনাচারকে একটা কৃষ্ণ ছল করে মেরে দিয়েছেন in the battle of kurukshetra drona was leading the army of the korav and they were fighting and they were drona was killing so many people the pandavas couldn't defeat him they wondered what to do how can we ever defeat him so donacharya korav ke jo sena ke lead korchen ani to shakti chilo ki pandav mane chilo kibhabe enar ke ami parast korbe kuchu bujhte parchen na drona had been their military guru so he was you know that they couldn't defeat their teacher he was a great fighter although he was a brahman he'd become kshatriya is fighting here at kurukshetra and they no one could defeat him so they came to krishna and they thought how can we ever do what can we ever do to defeat drona so dona chai chilo na sanya guru to to eto shakti sali chilo unar ki bhabe parast korbe পাণ্ডব বুঝতে পারছেন না তো উনি কৃষ্ণ কাছে আসে প্রার্থনা করছেন ভগবান কিভাবে আমি দোনাচারীকে পরাস্ত করতে পারবে তো কৃষ্ণ বলছেন পাণ্ডবকে তুমি কে ছল করতে হবে তোমারকে বলতে হবে কি একটা ঝুট মিথ্যা কথা বলতে হবে কি আশ্বথামা মরে গেছে যখন তুমি এটা বলবে উনি নিরুৎসাহী হয়ে ছেড়ে দিবে আমার ধর্মরাজ যুধিষ্ঠির উনি তো কোন সময় ঝুট বলবে না উনি বলছেন না আমি তো ঝুট বলবে না বাট কৃষ্ণ লাই So you tell him his son is dead then he will believe you. To Krishna bhaje na tumar ke bolte hi hobe ki asothama mare geche kyun tumi ase dharmraj tumi agar bolbe ki asothama mare geche to nischit bhabe ni bishwas kore nibe. But Yudhishthir was reluctant to do that. He thought no you know I've never told a lie in my life how can I do this? Yudhishthir mone khub vibhrant hoye geche re bhai ami jivan dike kono samay ekta মিথ্যা কথা বলছেন না আমি কিভাবে বলবে সো দেয়ার ওয়াজ অ্যান এলিফ্যান্ট নেমড আশ্বথামা একটা হাতি ছিল ওনার নাম ছিল আশ্বথামা সো দে কিলড দ্য এলিফ্যান্ট আশ্বথামা দে সেড নাও টেল হিম আশ্বথামা দ্য এন্ড দেন দ্য এলিফ্যান্ট ইজ ডেড তো উনি কি করছে একটা আশ্বথামা নামে হাতি ছিল ওনার কে বধ করে দিয়েছে তখন কৃষ্ণ বলেন তুমি এখন বলবে আশ্বথামা আর যখন হাতি নাম বলবে বলে হাতি ধীরে ধীরে বলবে আশ্বথামা hati mare geche and when drona heard his son was dead drona thought my son is dead because actually ashwatthama he is amara how could he ever die so dona chale jekhon ekta katha sunchen ashwatthama mare geche to eta hati ke to silent kore diyechen to uni ekdam dona chale mone ekdam khub kasht peyechen ki amar chhele mare geche uni to amar chilo uni kibhabe mare geche Actually Ashwatthama is still living now. He has some function at the end of Kali Yuga. He will come back. So Ashwatthama ekhon un to amar ache to ni ekhone jibit ache. Last sentence Maharaj in the He will come back. He will return in a as a, a, a great personality. To ni kalyug ant dike phir phire asbe. He be freed from his sinful reactions and he will be given another duty. নিজে পাপ দিকে উনি এখন মুক্ত হয়ে যাবে তো নতুন বাট এনিওয়ে ড্রোনা ওয়েন হি হার্ড দ্যাট আশ্বথামা ওয়াজ ডেড দেন হি থট দেন হোয়াট ইজ দ্য গুড অফ ফাইটিং এনিমোর হি পুট ডাউন হিজ ওয়েপন এন্ড হি স্যাট ডাউন ইন মেডিটেশন তো যখন ড্রোনাচারি এটা খবর পেয়েছেন কি আশ্বথামা মারে গেছেন তো উনি একদম নিরুৎসাহিত হয়ে গেছেন কি তখন আগর আমার ছেলেই মারে গেছেন তো আমার কি লাভ এটা যুদ্ধ করে তো উনি বসে গেছেন একটা ধ্যান অবস্থা দিকে and it was at that time that he was killed at that time when he was sitting in meditation that was when they killed okay so uni jokon dhyan mudra dike boshe chilo o samay onake pandav sab mare diyeche so 
Ashwatthama is very bitter. He feels that they, they haven't fought the battle according to religious principles. He thought everything was done wrongly and he wanted to get revenge. So one of the things he did was to release a Brahmastra weapon to kill the child within the womb of Uttara, who was the wife of Abhimanu. So, Aswatthama saw that the Baba was doing a chol and he was killed. So, Aswatthama was very upset. So, he was doing something to do with it. 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 Of course, Abhimanu means he is the son of Arjuna. And his wife, Uttara, she is carrying a child in her womb and Ashwatthama threw this Brahmastra weapon. He wanted to burn this child. So, Abhimanyu Ache Arjuna Chhele, Aunar Sri, Uttara Gaurve, Paichi Chilo, So, Ashwatthama Pariyas Korchen, Chesta Korchen, Ki Ki Bhabe Aami Eita Garbke Nost Kore Dibe. So at that time, Uttara saw, she saw the Brahmastra weapon coming and she came running to Krishna and called out to Krishna to please protect the child in her womb. Let that weapon burn me but please save the child in the womb. Hey Krishna, hey jo Brahmastha ache, uni amar ke mare dibe thik ache, pero amar chhele ke marbe na. And Lord Krishna expanded himself. Lord Krishna is omnipresent; he's everywhere. So he's also within the womb of Uttara, and he expanded himself and he protected that child. जखोन उत्तरा प्रार्थना करचें तो कृष्ण तो सर्वत्र आचे उन्हीं सब जगह आचे तो उन्हीं निजे के विस्तार करे गर्व दिखे चतुर्भुज रूपे उन्हीं की करचें गर्व के दिखे परिचित की रक्षा करेंगे। Some commentators say that actually the child was burned, but Krishna replaced the child. He gave that same soul another body. कोनो कोनो टीकाकार बोलचें कि उटा जो छेले चिलो ब्रह्मास्त्रो प्रहार दिखे झोले गए से ना गई परंतु कृष्णों वह आत्मा के फिर तक नूतन सौरीर दिए से। So this child in the womb had the opportunity to actually see the personality of Godhead while he was still in the womb। तो ये तो छेले चिलो गर्भ दिखे उन्हर एक ता सुजोक पे चे उन्हीं कृष्णों के दर्शन पे चे गर्भ दिखे। That is why he has the name Parikshit. Parikshit means the examiner. He's always examining where is that personality who I had seen at my, during my time in the womb. So he had the opportunity to see They just no, no, yeah, okay, that's right, okay, okay, enough, enough, enough. Thank you. So Parikshit is called. He also has another name, which is Vishnu Ratha, one who is protected by Vishnu. तो परिचित एक और नाम आचे विष्णु रात विष्णु रात माने जार के विष्णु रक्षा करे चे। So at the birth of Maharaj Parikshit, then they invited all the Brahmins to come and to do their horoscope and tell us about the qualities of this child. तो जखोन परिचित जन्म है के चे, तो सब ब्राह्मण के डाक्चे न बोलचे, तुम्हें के बोलते हो बे छेलेर की की गुण हो बे। and in that way the brahmanas, they all did their calculations and they considered the different positions of the different planets and they described all the qualities of Maharaj Pariksha. 
তো ফের উনি কুণ্ডলিকে গণনা করছেন দেখছেন কোনটা গ্রহ কোথায় আছে সেইভাবে উনি বলতে পারছেন কি পরিচিত কি কি গুণ হবে দে ওয়ান্ট the ruler should be worthy to be the king they has he has to have all the good qualities to jei jan raja hobe sei jan ke to sab bhalo gun hote hobe tokhon to ni raja dikhe shasan korte parbe to take the position of the ruler it's a big responsibility you're responsible for everyone in the kingdom they must be worthy of that position তো যে জন্য রাজা আছে শাসন করবে সেই জনকে তো খুব বড় উত্তরদায়িত্ব আছে সো ইন দ্য ভেডিক কালচার দোজ হু বিকাম দ্য রুলার্স দে আর এক্সাম ভেরি কেয়ারফুলি দ্যাট দে উইল হ্যাভ অল দ্য প্রপার কোয়ালিফিকেশন তো বৈদিক সভ্যতা দেখি আমি দেখছেন কিভাবে কোনো জন আগে রাজা হবে কোনো জন শাসক হবে তো ওই ওইকে খুব সুন্দর সুন্দর সব কোয়ালিটি গুণ হতে হবে so just simply to be born in the family just simply to take birth in that family is not enough kebol apni raj kul dikhe janam nibe eta sob eta kebol prapto nay just like in the bhagavad gita lord krishna explains that he has created the four divisions of society according to guna and karma e bhabe bhagavad gita bhagwan bolechen চাতুর বর্ণ মায়া সিস্টেম গুণকর্ম বিভাগ কি আমি চারটা বর্ণকে নির্মাণ করছেন গুণ কর্ম বিভাগে সো দ্য ফোর ডিভিশনস আর ক্রিয়েটেড বাই দ্য লর্ড হিমসেলফ হি হ্যাজ ডিভাইডেড দ্য সোসাইটি ইনটু ফোর সেকশনস ভগবান নিজেই সমাজকে চারটা বর্ণ রূপে বিভাজিত করছেন এটা নিজে উনি করছেন জাস্ট অ্যাজ দ্য ব্রাহ্মণা হ্যাজ টু বি কোয়ালিফাইড not just simply birth is not enough one has to have the proper qualities and also work of the in that particular way to je bhabe brahman kebol jon dikhe hobe na brahman ke brahmanical gun thakte hobe so maharaj parikshit was born in the great family the line of great kings but they also want to check to make sure that he is going to live up to that birth that he is not just simply by birth but he will have also all the good qualities to ami dekhte parchen ki brahman uni rajkul dikhe janam niyechen parichin ma tar porei uni check korchen ki bhai rajkul janam niye hobe na apnar ke gun bhi rakhte hobe so shrimad bhagavatam describes how maharaj parikshit grew up he became the emperor of the world and he set about making sure that there was no irreligion anywhere in the kingdom ami bhagwat dikhe dekhte parchen kibhabe parichit maharaj ki hoye gechen raja hoye gechen aur unni ekdam khub sundar shasak chilo unni ekdam niyantran korchen ki rajya dike kono pap hobe na he traveled around his kingdom personally making sure everyone was acting according to their proper duties to ni ekdam sampurna rajdi ki korbe bhraman korche dekhchen sabai jan nije kartavya korchen ki na at one point however he came across a person dressed like a king although he did not have the appear although his physical body was not anything like a king he was dressed in the attire of a king to ek samay uni gure gure ek samay ek jagah aschen oi dikhe dekhchen ekta aadmi ache uni rajar poshak pore ache pore porechen parantu uni rajar dikhe rajar bhabe gun chilo na and he was holding a sword in his hand on hat dikhe ekta talwar chilo and beside him there was a bull who was standing on only a portion of one leg কাছে একটা বেল ছিল ওটা কেবল চার পাও দিকে এক পাও শেষ ছিল উনি ওই পাও দিকে কেবল দাঁড়ি ছিল কাছে একটা গায়ে ছিল ওনার চোখে কি ছিল জল ছিল আমার বৈদিক সংস্কৃতির দিকে গায় আর বেলের খুব গুরুত্বপূর্ণ the cow represents mother earth and the bull represents the principles of 
religion. तो गाय आचे आमर माँ और जो बैल आचे उटाचे वैदिक जो नियमावली. The bull was standing on only a portion of one leg, indicating that in the Kali Yuga, the religious principles will be reduced to practically nothing. So, Bail kewal ek ta paon dikhe, thar thar kaapek dadiye chilo, to eta e bhaave suchit kor chen ki kalyuk dikhe, jo dharma chhe, ota chata khamba dikhe, sob khamba ek dam dhan soe jabe, ek dam jo kalyuk dikhe dharma, the four legs of the bull represent the pillars of religion. Satyam, Socham, Daya, Tapa. Satyam, truthfulness. So, the four legs of the bull, 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 Tapa. Tapa. Satyam, truthfulness. Sotyam, cleanliness. Daya, mercy. Tapa, austerity. In the Kali Yuga, only a portion of one leg is remaining. And that one leg, the portion of which is still remaining, is truthfulness. There's a fraction of truthfulness. Kali Yuga, the four khom vagdam धौंस है क्या चेन एक टक हम किचु किचु आचे से सोटा आचे सत्यो। In the Satya Yuga, the four pillars of religion were all perfect and intact and full. सत्युक दिखे चार टक हम एकदम खूब सुंदर चिलो एकदम। In the Satya Yuga, everyone, everyone on the planet was like a Paramahansa because he strictly followed all the religious principles. सत्युक दिखे पाय पाय सब जन चिलो एकदम परम हम्स हो उन्हें सब जो धर्म में नियम चिलो उन्हें खूब भालो दिखे पालन कर सके। And because he strictly followed all the religious principles, they lived a long life. People in the Satya Yuga lived one lakh. उन्हें क्योंकि धर्म में जो नियम चिलो खूब भालो दिखे पालन कर चेन सही भावे सही कारण है उन्हें एकदम लंबा आयु चिलो। However, after after Satya Yuga then we come to the next stage, the religious principles to decline by one-fourth. Then they decline further in the next yuga, Treta Yuga. And finally we come to Kali Yuga. And practically there's hardly any religious principles remaining. So, in yuga, what happens in the yuga? The dharma is less than the dharma, and the dharma is less than the dharma. तेता युग दिखे पचास सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट होएगे चेन तार परे द्वापर युग दिखे और कम होएगे चेन तार परे कल युग दिखे एकदम किचु किचु से साज। Then the cow represents Mother Earth and she's standing with tears in her eyes because she's in distress considering the condition on her planet। तो जो गाय चे उटा भूमि के भूमि प्रतीक because on the planet everyone is engaging in irreligious activities, so it has a very harmful effect on the whole earth planet. So, Bhumi Devi has a lot of pain that Kalyuk has seen all the people who have seen the people who have seen the people who have seen the people. And Mother Earth is greatly disturbed. She is standing with tears in her eyes. तम भूमि देवी खूब क्लिष्ट आचे खूब उनार क्लेश आचे मने आचे उन्हें दम चौके दिखे अश्रु धारा बोए चे महाराज परिक्षित वाज अस्टानिश्ड टू सी दिस इन हिज किंगडम तो महाराज परिक्षित ऐटा देख चेन कि गाय और बैल के ऐटा स्थिति निजेर राज्य दिखे देखे खूब उनार चिंतित हो गए चे He had never seen anywhere in his kingdom ever that a cow would be Abused, and the bull would be treated in such a manner. उन्हें कोनो समय निजे राज्य दिखे ऐटा देख चेन्ना कि गाय और बेल के भावे शोषण हो बे. Maharaj Parikshit was ready to kill this person who was standing there with the sword in his hand. तो Maharaj Parikshit निजे हाथे दिखे एकासी चिलो तलवार उन्हें बल्जामी इनर के केटे दिवे. 
But first of all, he inquired from them. He asked Mother Earth and he asked Dharma, the bull, who did this to you? Who was responsible to put you into this condition? So, for instance, my manchilo ki ami eta raja ke mare dibe, man doni aage ekta chhe jigyasa korchen, bailod gai ke kono to mare eta sthiti korche. Neither Mother Earth nor Dharma, the bull, responded in a positive manner. They didn't immediately say, "He did it. It was him. Look, he's got the sword. He was the one." No. That rather they spoke very philosophically. So, it is a very interesting thing that the guy and the bell are both the same. The same thing is that the same thing is that the same thing is that so they were explaining the different philosophies, explain the different causes, the different persons who are responsible for the suffering. So we need tattva charcha korchen, ki dukher karan ache, amar nijer kart karma, ibhabe tattva charcha korchen. So Maharaj Pariksit, he was about to deal with this personality of Kali, who had come into this situation, who had been responsible for the condition of the cow and the bull, and Maharaj Parikshit wanted to punish him. So Maharaj Parikshit manichilo ki uni jai eta purus gai or bel ke ebhave sthiti kore chen unar ke kichu sashti dite hobe. But the personality of Kali surrendered to him. The Vedic culture requires that when someone surrenders to you, you have to accept them and give them shelter. So Vedic Sanskriti jike kono jana agar sarnagat hoye jabe, ta apnar ki unar ki so Maharaj Parikshit accepted this personality of Kali, but he told him, you can only reside where there is meat eating, intoxication, gambling, or illicit sex. So Maharaj Parikshit said, okay, so the personality of Kali then said, in that case, I will have nowhere to reside because in your kingdom there is no place where these activities are taking place. So Kali, ekta bolchen, ebhabe tumi bolchen ki amar ke ekta chare thay sthan dikhe, ami thakte parbe to ami to tomar rajyadi kono sthan dikhe thak thakte parbe na. To tomar rajyadi ke to kono sthan nai, je sthan dikhe hi kharaab jinis chiz hobe. In this way, Maharaj Parikshit was forced to give a concession to this personality of Kali. And he told him, then you can reside wherever there is hoarding of gold. Because wherever there is hoarding of gold, then these irreligious principles will automatically follow. So he said, okay, this is the place where you can give 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 the place. So try to understand our Krishna consciousness movement that we try to engage all of the funds, all of the money which people accumulate, we try to get them to contribute that to the Krishna consciousness movement so that we can put on festivals like this Rathiyatra. 
তো আমি ইসকন সংস্থা থেকে যে লোকের পাঁচ টাকা আছে খুব টাকা পয়সা সঞ্চিত করছেন সেই টাকা পয়সাকে বলছেন কি দিন এটা আমি ভগবানের উৎসব করবে এই রথযাত্রা ভাবে বিশাল উৎসব ইফ দে ডোন্ট গিভ দ্য মানি ফর দ্য সার্ভিস অফ কৃষ্ণ দে উইল ইউজ देयर মানি ফর দ্য সার্ভিস অফ মায়া এন্ড দে উইল এনগেজ ইন অল কাইন্ডস অফ ইররিলিজিয়াস অ্যাক্টিভিটি তো উনি अगर টাকা কে ভগবানের সেবা দিকে দিবে না তো সেই টাকা কে উনি মায়ার সেবা করবে সব ওই দিকে পাপ করবে they have to use their money right they're going to use it they will use it simply for sense gratification to taka ke to istemal korte hi hobe apni agar bhagwan er seva dikhe dibe na to apni nischit bhabe sei seva ke ki korbe inde tipti korar jonne istemal korbe so we want to engage their money not in the not in the service of maya but for the service of krishna তো আমার ইসকন সংস্থা দেখি আমার ইচ্ছা আছে কি আমি যে লোকের পাশে এত এত টাকা আছে সেই টাকাকে ভগবানের সেবা দিকে নিয়োজিত করবে সো ইন দিস ওয়ে দ্য পার্সোনালিটি অফ ক্যালি ওয়াজ গিভেন সাম প্লেস টু রিসাইড তো সেই ভাবে কালিকে একটা পরিচিত মায়ের স্থান দিয়েছে ইন দ্য টাইম অফ মহারাজ পরিক্ষিত देयर वाज ওয়ান পার্সোনালিটি অফ ক্যালি তো 5000 সাল আগে পরিচিত মহারাজ সময়ে একটা জন কলির ছিল বাট টুডে উই সি সো মেনি এজেন্টস অফ ক্যালি তো আজ কি আমি দেখছেন এত এত কলিউগের কি আছে চলে আছে মেনি পিপল আর প্রপাগেটিং ইররিলিজিয়াস অ্যাক্টিভিটি এত এত জন পাপের কি করছেন উনি প্রচার করছেন বাট মহারাজ পরিক্ষিত কিংডম ওয়াজ সাচ দ্যাট देयर वाज নো opportunity for any irreligious activity parantu ami dekhen maharaj porichit rajer ki sthiti chilo kono jan kono pap korte parchen he was such a great personality that he could ensure that within his kingdom everyone followed properly uni eto boro mahapurush chilo uni ekdam eta dekhte parchen ki una rajer dike kono jan kono pap korbe na sob jan नियम बनाते हुए धर्म के आचरण कर want to allow things like liquor houses and casinos and meat shops and liquor uh, uh, slaughter houses to ami sab janna ki ki bhabe log ki korbe mod khabe log manse khabe to all of these things need to be stopped because they are just creating more and more havoc on the planet তো এই সব যে পাপ কার্য আছে সে সব সবকে নিষেধ করতে হবে এই সব পুরো সমাজ দিকে পুরো ব্রহ্ম পুরো বিশ্ব দিকে একদম কি করছেন খুব খারাপ স্থিতি করছে সো মহারাজ পরিক্ষিত ওয়াজ রুলিং দ্য আর্থ ইন দিস ওয়ে এন্ড ইট হ্যাপেন্ড দ্যাট ওয়ান ডে হি ওয়েন্ট হান্টিং ইভেন ওয়ান ওয়েন্ট মহারাজ পরিক্ষিত ওয়ান ডে ওয়াজ রুলিং দ্য আর্থ and in course of his duty as a kshatriya sometimes he will go into the jungle and hunt against the ferocious animals who so will he, disturb he, the safety and security of innocent people they bhabe uni khub sundor bhabe shasan korchen to ek din uni unar rajar ekta kartavya ache ki unar ke ekta shikar korte hobe shikar korte hobe jungle dikhe kono agar khungkhar janwar ache ওটাকে মারতে হবে তুই লোকের কি সুরক্ষা থাকবে সার্টেন অ্যানিমালস লাইক টাইগারস এন্ড সো অন দেন দে দে ক্রিয়েট সো মাচ ডेंजर ফর ইনসেন্ট সেজিস হু লিভ ইন দ্য ফরেস্ট কোন কোন जानवर যেভাবে সিং আছে এটা কি করছেন কি যে যে সাধু আছে জঙ্গল দিকে ওনার কি খুব ভয় উৎপন্ন করছেন তো রাজার কর্তব্য ছিল কি ওনাকে মারবে So while Maharaj Parikshit was engaged in this way at one point he was overwhelmed by thirst তো এক সময় উনি শিকার করছেন তো উনি একদম খুব জোরে ভাবে তৃষা লাগছে And he came to the ashram of a yogi তো উনি একটা যোগীর আশ্রম আসছে 
But the yogi was engaged in meditation. और योगी ध्यान अवस्था के ग्रस्त चिलो। Yogi did not receive him because he was absorbed in meditation. तो योगी ध्यान दिखे मग्न चिलो, तो उन्हीं राजा के समान करे करते पार चिलो। And Maharaj Parikshit, somehow by the will of the Supreme Lord, he took a dead snake and he put it around the neck of the great sage who was sitting there in meditation. भगवान एक तक कोनो भगवान ने इच्छा दिखे उन्हीं की कर चेन एक ता मित सर्प के योगी शरीर ऊपर फैले दिए चे। However, the son of that great sage happened to see the Maharaj Parikshit do this to his father, and the son took great offence. तो उनार जो छेले चिलो योगी उन्हें एक ता देखे नहीं है चेन कि आमर बाबा बोले कि कुछ नहीं एक ता मित्तु साप के फैले दिए चेन तो उन्हें एक ता अपराध नहीं नहीं। So the son put a curse that this this Shatriya just see he's supposed to be the servant of us Brahmanas and he is insulting us in this way। तो उन्हर छेले रेगे के चेन कि एक ता छत्रियो ये ना तो आमर दास होते होंगे और उन्हें ये भावे कर बे so he, the, the son of this great sage cursed that Maharaj Parikshit should die of the bite of a snake bird in seven days. And when Maharaj Parikshit got news of the curse, he thought, well and good, it is proper. I deserve this. Parachit Maharaj that John ekta khabar paye chen, unni bol chen khub halo, aami teta uchi, aami golti kore chen, aamar ke teta sushti nitai hove. Maharaj Parikshit could understand what had happened somehow by the will of the Supreme Lord. He had performed an act which was not proper and he felt it was proper punishment for him. Bhagavan Eir Kripa जो ने उन्हें बुझते पाचें कि आमी की कोर्चें और आमे के इटा जो सजा पेचें इटा ठीक। So having been cursed, he prepared himself for leaving the body. तो उन्हें जखों ने इटा बुझते पाचें कि आमे इटा श्राप पेचें कि सात दिन पूरे मोरे जावे तो नहीं एक तो की कोर्चें ready हुए चें। He took off his royal garments and he put on a simple dress and he went to the banks of a holy river to find. People to guide him in preparation for leaving the world. तो उन्हें राजा पोशाक छेड़े एक ता सरल सो पोशाक पोरे गंगा टॉट दिखे चले गए चेन और उन्हीं जी क्या सा कोर्सेन की करते हो बे आमार के. So this led to the appearance of Sukadeva Goswami and the speaking of Shrimad Bhagavatam. तो उन्हें माने चिलो कि आमी की करते हो बे तो सही समय सुखदेव गोस्वामी वही दिखे प्रकट हो गए चेन. So we'll hear more tomorrow about the appearance of Shukadeva Goswami. तो कल के आमी सुन बे सुखदेव गोस्वामी की भावे प्रकट होएगे चेन। Are there any questions? कोनो प्रश्न आचे तो पूछ। Any comment? वटा प्रश्न आचे। आगे आसुन। बोल। Take a microphone. 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 Take अपनी बोल लें जो कोली जुगे एक मतलब सोचते ही बहुत तमान दया सोचो एवं तो अपो ये गुनगुलो नहीं है खून तो अखून जो सोचते रह की सोचता ले धरुन अखून क्या हो जाती बोले अखून दुपुर बारोटा बजे आ क्या हो जाती आर भोगोली का उस्तान सामने देखा और कैन्ना था के धरुन अमेरिका जे आ चेसे तो अखून ह 
আগে ফিরতে বলতে হবে তিনটা খাম্বা তো চলে গেছেন একটা সত্যে বাদ কাপ সত্য আছে একজন ভক্ত দেখছে এখন দুপুর 12টা বাজে আর একজন আর সে ফোন করছে একজনকে সে আমেরিকায় থাকে তখন এখন হয়তো রাত্রি 12টা থাকে ঠিক আছে তার কাছে এখন বলছে সে দিন আছে হচ্ছে রাত্রি এবং স্টার্ট যে আমেরিকা থাকে সত্য কি রাত্রি কি দিন সত্য কি রাত্রি কি দিন ঠিক আছে এক 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 প্রশ্ন করবে দিবে ঠিক আছে তো কালকে জয়পতাক মহারাজ গুরু মহারাজ ওইদিকে কোশ্চেন সব বুদ্ধি কে বলছেন কি কোনো ভক্ত সন্ন্যাসীকে আবার প্রভু বলবে তো এটা আছে নূতন ভক্তের লক্ষণ সন্ন্যাসীকে প্রভু বলা উচিত নাই হুম যখন আমি বলবে হরে কৃষ্ণ মহারাজ বলবে কি বলবে তো মহারাজকে প্রশ্ন পুজবে তো হরে কৃষ্ণ মহারাজ বলবে গুরু মহারাজ মহারাজ ঠিক আছে তো হিজ কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ দ্যাট ইউ সেট দ্যাট ইন দ্য এজ অফ কলিউগা থ্রি অফ দ্য পিলার্স হ্যাভ ব্রোকেন অ্যান্ড অনলি দ্য পিলার অফ ট্রুথফুলনেস ইজ রিমেনিং So he is saying that right now, suppose at one place, 12 o'clock afternoon is there and he calls a friend in America and there is 12 o'clock night. So is it day or night? What is the truth? So right now it's noon here. He calls a friend in America and he says it's night there. So what is truth? It's day or night? We're not speaking about relative truth. We're speaking about absolute truth. তো আমি এদিকে আপেক্ষিক সত্য দিকে চর্চা করছেন না আমি তো আপেক্ষিক সত্য আছে ওইটা আছে এই দিকে রাত্রি আছে ওই দিকে দিন আছে এটা আপেক্ষিক সত্য I'm not speaking about relative truth. I'm speaking about absolute truth. So, Edike Maharaj, apekshit satyar charcha korche na. Uni param satyar charcha korche. Try to understand the absolute truth. Apni param satya ke bujhe chesta korte ho. That which is true at all times, in all places. Param satya ache har khan satya. Har jagai, har kal satya. উনি আছে পরম সত্য সো ইট শ্রীমদ ভাগবতম ভেরি ফার্স্ট ভার্স দ্য ভেরি ফার্স্ট ভার্স কনক্লুডস পরম সত্যম দিমহি তো ভাগবতম প্রথম যে শ্লোক আছে ওম নমো ভগবতে বাসুদেবা সেই শ্লোকের অন্ত আছে পরম সত্য দিমহি আই মেডিটেট অন দ্য সুপ্রিম অ্যাবসলুট ট্রুথ লর্ড শ্রী কৃষ্ণ সত্যম পরম দিমহি আমি পরম সত্য শ্রী কৃষ্ণকে ধ্যান করব try to understand the absolute truth get Aapne, out of this relative namni ke eta apekshit satya dikhe bahar aste hobe aur apnar ke param satya ke dhyan korte hobe thik ache hare krishna hare krishna maharaj hare krishna amar arekti prashno ache je ki hocche je apni bollen je amader hocche chotur barno swayam bhagwan bole gechen bhagwatome ei gulo amader palon korte hobe আর ভগবান শুধু আমাদের ভগবান নয় সারা এই ব্রহ্মাণ্ডের ভগবান এবং ব্রহ্মাণ্ড আগের দিন আপনি বলেছেন যে যে ক্ষীরদয় ঈশ্বর বিষ্ণু প্রকাশ কারণদয় ঈশ্বর বিষ্ণু থেকে হয়েছে সেখানে আরও আরও বেশি ব্রহ্মাণ্ড তার মধ্যে আছে তা কৃষ্ণ হচ্ছে কৃষ্ণ যে ভগবানের রাজ্য পাঠে একমাত্র সনাতন ধর্মরাই এই হয়তো তার কিছু অংশ যারা কৃষ্ণ ভাবনামিত করছে তারা এই বর্ণাশ্রমটাকে শেখবার চেষ্টা করছে পুরোপুরি মানতে পারছে তাও বলতে পারবো না এখন যদি আকবরের রাজা আকবরের শাসন পাটে আকবরের নিয়মই চালু হয় তাহলে কৃষ্ণ যদি ভগবান সারা বিশ্বে তাহলে অন্যান্য অন্যান্য পৃথিবীর লোকেরা কৃষ্ণের রাজ্য পাটে কৃষ্ণের শাসন ব্যবস্থা কেন মেনে নিচ্ছে না এইটা প্রশ্ন বা কৃষ্ণ যদি সত্যি সুপ্রিম গড হয়ে থাকেন এবং ত্রি সুপ্রিম গড এটা তো আমরা মনে মনে কিন্তু সেইটা তার প্রকাশটা আমরা কেন দেখতে পাচ্ছি না যে চতুর্বর্ণ সিস্টেম সমস্ত জায়গায় প্রকাশিত হচ্ছে না কেন সো হিজ কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ দ্যাট উই সি দ্যাট কৃষ্ণা ইজ সেইং হি ইজ সুপ্রিম পার্সোনালিটি অফ গড হেড অ্যান্ড হি ইজ দ্য ক্রিয়েটার অফ বর্ণাশ্রম সিস্টেম বাট উই সি দ্যাট বর্ণাশ্রম সিস্টেম ইজ নট ফলোড অল ওভার দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড ইভেন ইন হিন্দু কাস্ট ভেরি ফিউ পিপল ফলো ইট অ্যান্ড আদার পিপল ডোন্ট ফলো উই সি ইন দ্য রুল অফ আকবর হিজ সিস্টেম ফলোস So if Krishna is supreme lord then why his system is not being followed in this world Actually everywhere in the world it's followed everywhere there are four divisions everywhere you have an intellectual section of society 
যতই স্থান আছে জগৎ দিকে সব স্থান দিকেই এটা চাতুর্মণ্যম সিস্টেম ফলো হয়েছে যতই স্থান আছে সব স্থান দিকে একটা ক্লাস দিকে লোক আছে যে আছে খুব বুদ্ধিমান then you have the administrative section of society like the kshatriya class to har jagah apni dekhbe ki kichu jan ache uni ki korbe administration korbe prashasan chalabe ota ache kshatriya you have the mercantile class the business class the vaishya har jagah kichu jan asbe uni business korbe taka paisa sanchay korbe and you have the workers the sutra aur apni har jagah dekhbe kichu ache je jan सहयोग कर It's a perfect organized perfect system to organize society but they need to work together to cooperate together data varna sarv jo bhagwan system rachna korchen eta chen am perfect ota purna system parantu log ota bhalo dikhe ota sahyog korchen na just like in the body there are parts the brahmanical class are like the head the kshatriya class are like the arms the vaishya class are the belly the sudra are the legs Apne all di- parts of the body are important the nije sharir dikhe dekhbe amra alag alag jo part ache sharire jese jo amar mukh mandal ache eta amar jo sir ache eta ache brahman amar jo bahu ache ota ache amar kshatriya jo amar pet ache eta ache vaishya aur jo amar charan ache eta ache sudra they have to work together you cannot have a body without a head to sharir ke dikhe sab kuch important ache sir haath pair sab ke ek dusre sahyog karte hobe understand bujhte parche hari krishna manoj dhanyavad pranam hari krishna parmartik pragrutir jonno spiritual power er jonno amader je government byabostha niche তাতে আমরা দেখছি যে আমরা যে যে বিষয়াশক্তি মানুষ সেখানে কলিযুগের প্রবণতাটাই বেশি আসছে এবং কলি তার ওপর প্রভাব বিস্তার করছে তো এই পারমার্থিক প্রগতির জন্য আমাদের যে অ্যাডমিনিস্ট্রেটিভ ডিপার্টমেন্ট গভর্নমেন্ট এই গভর্নমেন্টের কি উচিত আমাদের ইউথ ফোরাম মানে আমাদের ছাত্র সমাজকে কীভাবে জাগ্রত করে এই কৃষ্ণ ভ্রাম আন্দোলনের যোগদান করে যাতে আমাদের কলি প্রভাব বিস্তারটা বেশি না হয় আস্তে আস্তে কমে সে ব্যবস্থা আমাদের কৃষ্ণ ভবনামিত কিভাবে শিক্ষাটা দেবে ইন কলিগা লট অফ কি প্রশ্ন ছিল আমাদের যে পারমাণবিক প্রভাব বিস্তার সেটা হচ্ছে আমাদের গভর্নমেন্ট কোনো ব্যবস্থা নিচ্ছে না ছাত্র সমাজকে আমাদের যে কলি প্রভাব বিস্তার থেকে আরো জাগ্রত করে কৃষ্ণ ব্রাহ্মণিত আন্দোলন স্পিরিচুয়াল প্রগ্রেস বিসিং গভর্নমেন্ট ইজ নট সো মাচ কোপারেটিং সো হাউ সো আ ইউথ ফোরম বি মোর ইন্সপায়ার্ড অ্যান্ড হোয়াট শুড দে ডু বিকজ গভর্নমেন্ট ইজ নট সো মাচ কোপারেটিং সো সো দ্যাট আওয়ার স্পিরিচুয়াল প্রগ্রেস হ্যাপেন্স নাইসলি ওয়েল দ্য ইউথ অফ কোর্স দে আর ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট এলিমেন্ট ইন সোসাইটি because the youth today will become the leaders they will become the gov- maybe even government members tomorrow yeah the chele ache ota khub important because je chele ache kalke uni government er chakri pabe government er log hobe so people who are the youth and are involved in our youth program yes we want we encourage them to get a good krishna conscious education and go on and do something nice something to help to introduce krishna consciousness to make it more easily available for the people to tamar ke youth ke prerna dite hobe ki bhalo dikhe padhai korbe tar pore kichu system ready korte hobe samaj dikhe kichu korte hobe sei bhabe amar krishna consciousness jo hobe khub bhalo prachar hobe in shrimad bhagavatam pralad maharaj said komara charet pragno dharmam bhagavatam hi from the age of 5 one should begin to cultivate knowledge of sanatan dharma bhagavad dharma we should cultivate this knowledge 
So the youth are very, very important to us. They're a very important element of society. So Bhagavad Gita is written that if you have a lot of age, you have to give training. It's very important. In Srila Prabhupada's time, sometimes the reporters would ask Prabhupada, that why is it you have so many young people joining your movement? Prabhupada said, because that's the time for education. So the young people were coming to our Krishna consciousness movement, they're getting the education which they never got in any of their colleges or universities or schools or homes even. They're getting the most important element of education, spiritual knowledge. तो उन्हीं युवा जो आचे इसको देखे उन्हीं सब सब सबसे गुरुत्वपूर्ण जो ज्ञान आचे उन्हीं जो कौन यूनिवर्सिटी के दिखे पेचे ना कॉलेज दिखे पेचे ना निजे बाड़ी दिखे पेचे ना सही आध्यात्मिक ज्ञान उन्हीं इसको देखे पेच। And that knowledge which the education which they receive as youth that will fructify as they grow up. As they enter into household life, family life, and as they take on jobs, they become more and more involved in the elements of society. Some may even enter into politics and become government officials. And in this way, their Krishna conscious education will be very helpful for them. And they will also want to distribute it to others. So, when the young people are in the young people, when they are in the training, 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 when they are in the politics, when they are in the foundation of the foundation of the Krishna Bhakti Rgyan, what do they do in this situation? They can help them. They can help them. So, as they are benefiting, they will want others also to benefit in the future. So, when they are in the future, they will feel that they are in the future, they will feel that so this is the Krishna conscious program. You learn something yourself and then you teach it to others. So we're training the youth and in the future they will also teach it to others. Alright? Maharaj, Arata, just questions, simple questions. So, we have to give youth training already, and we have to approach our course. But Maharaj, what do you think about the people of God? The people of God, the people of God, the people of God, the people of God, and the people of God, and the people of God, 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 तो शेखते परिकित मारा जी जन्मों तक ही हम लोग देखते भाई उन्हें भगवाने परम भक्त चलें तार जन्मों टाव परम भक्त वाने परम स्वाय आर शोषारा पितृवीर सम्राट चलें भगवाने शौजोगिताएं मृत्यु टाव भगवाने अत्यंत भगवतम कथा मृत्यु सुने तार मृत्यु टाव प्रगति उन्नति पारोमार्थिक प्रगति ये उत्तरार्ध में तो न माँ एवं अभिमन्यु में तो न पिता ये पुरी कित महाराज के जागी दिए चिलो तो आमादेरी जे कोली जुगेर ये छोटो छोटो छेले में के भागबतों एवं गीता एवं पारमार्थिक पौगते जे गीये दे बे आमादेरी जे पिता माता भूमि का टाकी छेता छोटू कोडे जुदे एक्स्ट्रो एक्सप्लेन करें सो इफ � Arjun also was a devotee and friend of Krishna. So, uh, like Parichit Maharaj, father and mother, both were devotees, Avimanyu and Uttara. So, we are training youth. So, what is our role of father and mothers in training the children? So, if you can briefly explain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Shastra say, don't become a mother or father unless you can deliver your children from birth and death. शास्त्र दिखे लिखा है ऐसे जन्नी ना सोचिया कि आपने अगर माँ होते हो बे ना पिता होते हो बे ना अगर आपने निजे छेले में के आपने ये जन्म मृत्यु सच्चा चक्र दिखे 
उधार करते पार बेना। This is the real duty of parenthood। इटा तो माँबाप के खूब गुरुत्वपूर्ण ड्यूटी आचे के चले में के उधार करते होगे। Of course, not every child is able to get the good fortune to be raised in a devotee home, but it is no barrier to them becoming Krishna conscious. हर तो चले के इटा सोभाग ना ही क्यों नहीं भक्तेर परिवार दिखे जनम पाबो और भक्तेर माँबाप दिखे ट्रेनिंग पाबो परंतु जोरों कोनो चले के माँबाप भक्त ना ही सही कोनो लिमिटेशन ना ही क्यों नहीं भक्त होते पार बेना चैतन्य चरित्रमृत से लव ऑफ कृष्णा इज इन एवरीवन्स हार्ट चैतन्य चरित्रमृत के लिखा चे कि कृष्णो प्रेम सबाई हृदय दिखे ऑलरेडी आचे ऑफ कोर्स इफ यू आर बोर्न इन अ डिवोटी फैमिली इज अ ग्रेट एडवांटेज बट इफ यू नॉट स्टिल लव ऑफ कृष्णा इज देर इन योर हार्ट एंड इट कैन बी अवेकेंड व्हेन यू हीर अबाउट कृष्णा तो अगर आपने भक्तेर परिवार दिखे जो नम पेशन इट अ खूब बड़ो सुजो परंतु अगर भक्ते परिवार दिखे जो नम प्राप्त कर चुन्ना त so we don't just preach to people born in devotee families. तो ये तो नहीं कि हमें केवल सही जन के प्रचार कर रहे जैसे जो उन पर भक्तेर परिवार दिखे जो नम नहीं अच्छे। The other day I quoted the verse from Shrimad Bhagavatam which says people from all different sinful races they can all be delivered by the mercy of a devotee. तो भागवत दिखे एक तो स्लोक आचे कि भावे पापी तापी जो तो जो न आचे सब जो ने एक तो भक्तेर कृपा माध्यमे उधार Jagai and Madai were born in Brahmana families. They became very sinful and degraded. Jagai and Madai तो खूब ब्राह्मण परिवार दिखे जन्म पे चें परंतु ने एकदम नष्ट हो गए थे. But they were saved by the mercy of Lord Nityanand. परंतु नित्यानंद पुकरपा माध्यम में उन्हीं सब फिर पवित्र हो गए थे. So birth on its own, it can be an advantage, but it's not the only thing. जन्म अगर भक्त परिवार दिखे जन्म पेचन एक डा लाभ आचे वन तो उन्हीं सब कुछ ना है। The second birth is more important। तामर जो द्वितीय नंबर जन्म आचे वो इटा ज़्यादा गुरुत्वपूर्ण। That is when you take birth from the spiritual teacher। तो द्वितीय नंबर जो जन्म आचे इटा आचे कि जो कहना हमें आध्यात्मिक ज्ञान प्राप्त कर बे। Prabhupada taught us a Bengali saying. Janami Janami Sabi Pita Mata Pai Krishna Guru Nahi Mili Baja Hari Ai Everyone has got a mother and father but only the fortunate living entity has got the spiritual teacher and by the mercy of the spiritual teacher they will get Krishna. So, Janam Janam Dami Mahabhap to Har Pratek Janam Dikhe Pechen Haan ki na? Parantu ये टम ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेन्ट ना है पर तो आमी अगर आध्यात्मिक गुरु पे जावे आध्यात्मिक ज्ञान पे जावे तो कौन आमी की कार्य के प्राप्त करेंगे बे कृष्णों के श्रील प्रभुपाद की जय गोर बैक टू वृंद की जय हरे कृष्णा हरे इधर ने भक्ति विक्नेविनाशक नरसिंह साईं महाराज की